Hello, Samantha Clemens. This is Dr. Bordelotti. As I promised, I am um, designing a lesson just for you to show you what you can do to get this persuasive essay written and completed uh, and in good shape. So, before I get started, let me just tell you that there's nothing for you to do just yet, just to follow along. That's That's all you need to do. And I also want to tell you right now that I will be going back and forth between this file and another file that I'm going to be borrowing stuff from. So don't let this confuse you. This file I've already named for you here. And the file name has been named for you. This file is the example file that I will be borrowing stuff from. Okay, so let's talk about this file first. Uh, this is the, um, the file that I've made for you that I want you to use as your own. Okay, so remember we are talking about a persuasive essay. And the persuasive essay is on a topic that you want to convince me of. You want to argue and convince me reasons why you are right about something. Now, in the example, in the example essay that I included for everybody, the, the thesis that I gave everybody was on vaccinations. And this essay then would be about why vaccinations are good, because some people think they're bad. So in the example, you would write, excuse me, in your essay, you would write your thesis statement here. Now, where do you get a thesis statement? It all starts with a question. Something as simple as that. Are vaccinations good? Yes or no? Or Sorry, I can't type. <laughs> I still can't type. Should marijuana be legalized across the United States? Or Should the United States build a wall on its southern border? Okay, so whatever question you come up with, make sure that it is a yes or no question. And then once you answer your question, for example, are vaccinations good? That becomes your thesis. Something as simple as this. Are vaccinations a benefit to society? And your thesis would be, yes, vaccinations are a benefit to society. And your essay title can be your original question. This is the original question, and it can serve as your essay title. Here's the original question. Here is your stance, your position, your thesis. Yes or no question. This is your answer, and that becomes your thesis. We'll talk about the introduction and the conclusion later. Just be aware that the introduction is um, on the outline just this word. No actual paragraphs appear on the outline. Same thing here. No actual paragraph appears here. Just the word. Okay, so let's go back and talk about what all this stuff here is. This is where you develop your outline. This is, let's say, this is your topic. 
and then tell me why are vaccinations a benefit? What's your first reason why this statement is true? What's your second reason why this statement is true? What's your third reason for why that statement is true? These reasons are really called your subtopics. This is your main topic. This is under the main topic or sub. So here's your main topic. Your first reason is your subtopic number one, reason number one, right? And then this becomes your subtopic number two, and this becomes your subtopic number three. Okay, so make sure you have three reasons why something is true. And in my example, I'm talking about why vaccinations are good. Reason one, two, three. Then you take your reason and you divide it even further into the details. In other words, go into detail why your reason is good, why the reason is accurate, why the reason is proven to be good or beneficial. Same thing down here. So let's take vaccinations, for example. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making this up. I've not done the research on vaccinations. But let's just say my first reason is it prevents childhood diseases, such as polio or tuberculosis, whatever the case may be. All right? Those are the details. Don't forget what we're including in this essay is logos, pathos, and ethos. Logos, remember, logic. Pathos, emotion. Ethos is ethics. And you can put these words anywhere you want on the outline, as long as you put them in a place where they best serve your purpose. Remember, logos is statistics and numbers and facts and figures. So whatever reason you have here, make sure you can find statistics on Okay, all right, so notice that the outline is color coded, right? The subtopic is red, the A detail is blue, the B detail is green. And logos, pathos, and ethos are all in purple. If we come over to the essay part of it, the color coding repeats here. The subtopic is red. Then you've got your A detail is in blue. And your B detail is in green. Right? And then a reminder about including logos is in purple. If we take a look at the sample essay, you can see this here. It's color coded. Subtopics red. A details are blue. Green details are B details are green. And we come over to the sample essay. And you can see the color coding is also here. So this red is all the subtopic sentence and all this blue in the example sentence, excuse me, the example paragraph, all this is A and then all this is B. Okay. All right, so let's talk about these things now, the logos, pathos, and ethos stuff. As I said, you can put them anywhere you want on the outline. But remember, this is where it's going to appear in the essay. In this example, logos is, will be used in paragraph one. Pathos, which is emotion, will be used in paragraph two. And ethos, which is ethics, will be used in paragraph three. Okay? Um, what I want you to do is uh, create the outline first like this. 
and then in the next tutorial we'll come back and talk more about this in detail so for right now what I want you to do is take this file that I'm giving you and I'll send it to you in your email it's already saved for you it's already named for you and all I want you to do is come up with a stance based on a yes or no question and then fill this out according to your stance and that's all I want you to do for right now and then we'll talk about the essay later okay so do this for right now oh before I forget don't forget that you also have to come up with two sources you have to come up with at least one internet source and one print source and I will give you another video on how to find a print source. Okay, later.